Link. I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. Eventually, who knows how long. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Uh, yeah. Can we get, I don't know, maybe? Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as the Sage of Water. Yeah, no, really. And you, you are searching for the princess, Zelda, yes? You can't hide anything from me. That's a very scary look. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it, so don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. Is he Superman now? You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. Well, she's the person that's asked us to do anything with the medallion since we got the first one. So anyway, that means there are only two temples left. One that is very tricky because it's the Shadow Temple and will require the usage of a lot of magic power. And then my favorite temple, the Spirit Temple out in the desert. You receive the Water Medallion, Rook awakens SSH and adds her power to yours, even though all their power does nothing. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? Yeah, I don't think that's going to take too long, if I recall correctly. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Link, you did it! Did Ruru want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, Link. Together, you and Princess Ruru destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water, always as it was here. We don't really call that pure, but whatever. He's just gonna disappear again, isn't he? Oh, no flash this time. That's good. Why can't you always run like that, Link? And really, you did not check up in the tree. Right, but anyway, before we leave this lake right here, there's something we need to do very quickly. If we have any arrows, if yes, we do. Stand here. There we go, got it, okay. Just in time. And apparently this is how we got the fire arrows. Interesting. I thought it was a hard piece, but I guess it was something even more important. But anyway, the way you know how to do that is because you read this and it says to shoot something into the sun on the morning's dawn. And it was dawn right as you exit the temple, no matter how long it takes you. So, we now have the fire arrows. ta da 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 we have the fire arrows, they consume magic power and set things on fire, and they're pretty nifty, but we are done with this area, so the question now is, what do we have to do now to exit, well, to enter the Shadow Temple? Now, if you'll recall, it, the Shadow Temple sounds very graveyardy-ish, so yes, we are heading over to Kakariko Village. I'm just trying to figure out how to get back in there, even though I have no memory of that, but anyway, let's summon the Pona. Um, no, that's not it. What is the point of song? Uh, let's see, Zelda, Epona, here we go. Uh, okay, up, left, right, okay. I think she is over on the other island, maybe? No idea, but anyway. Uh, nope, she is nowhere to be found, apparently. And I sense something we can move. Oh, you! Down you go. We can grab it. So, what is down this hole? Right, 
no idea what's in there, but it looks like it's just some place to buy some stuff. So, we're gonna leave this area. Ignore these annoying birds. Oh yeah, this is what happens. I think I know what we need to do. So if you recall, many episodes ago, I said something about when we went into the into the uh, into the windmill and we learned the song of storms. I thought that when you played it inside, uh, the water level in the well went down, but that is not exactly what happened. Ah, oh, there you are, finally. So anyway, something happens with the well. And we need to go in as a child into the well in order to find the tool that we need in order to actually be able to do any of that. So, but because I don't remember the exact order that we need to do things in, we shall head over to Kakariko Village first and see if something happens while we're there. Really? Really? Don't know why it didn't work the first time, but okay, finally out of there. And we do have the bow now, so we could hunt down pole is well pose here on the field, but all we really get out of that is money and the last bottle. But for that you need to hunt down 20 of them, and we are not gonna spend our time doing that. And we're finally back here at Kakariko Village. Whoop. Going down. Now, if something is going to happen, it is going to happen when we enter the town, and it's going to happen to something with the well. Yep, here we go. This is where it happens. So yeah, so something's going down here. Stuff is on fire. And she gets somehow already here, even though he went for the swim. Get back, Link. I did not remember they tossing around Sheik like that. So yeah, we got our butts kit right there. Looks like you're coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released, you don't say. Impa, the leader of Kakariko village, had sealed the, the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Link, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil shadow spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Boy, that, that sounds a little too dangerous, thank you. This is going to be one complicated song. 
Good thing we it's only to teleport there, so There we go. With that, we can now teleport to the Shadow Temple. However, let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you. Before we do that, we need to go into the bottom of the well. However, we cannot do that as Large Link, and I am about to show you why. Huh. Well, for starters, it's blocked off. Let's see if we can't blow this up a little bit. See if that does anything to it. Okay, so that did nothing. So let's try this. Nope, nothing. Okay, so the well is completely sealed off and there's nothing we can do with it. So that means in order to be able to fight something we cannot see, we need a tool that will allow us to see it. And if it was locked inside the well, that means this place is now suspicious for a tool that will allow us to do that. So, we must, for the first time in the game, travel back in time as Kid Link, come back to the well, drain the water from it by playing the Song of Storms in the well, which will drain the water, and then we will finally be able to get access to that place and find the tool we need. But that means we need to be Kid Link again, and this is going to be one heck of an adventure. So, get on Epona. And I do believe this is also the first time we've headed back into Hyrule Town since we became adults and we left the area. That is the fastest moonset I've ever seen. But anyway, we have to go here, dodge all the redeads that are lying around here. So it's this way, whoop! But yeah, those things are seriously freak you out as a kid. Okay, so how do we become kids again? Well, quite literally, we deposit this, the Master Sword into the seal and leave it there and that takes us back in time. And why are you here again? Weren't you going to take care of the village? You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. Uh, but there are still... Um, did we have to do this when we were finishing off the forest temple? To awaken all other sages, you must become even more powerful. Uh-huh. You must travel over mountains, under the water, and even through time. Aha, I knew it! If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Why? Because reasons. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. Ah, so we finally learned this song. That one's actually pretty easy. Yeah. You have learned the preload of light. Yeah, anything else besides him leaving in a flash? As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. Now, if you noticed, right there, the flash of light was different than the rest of the times. So yeah, you're gonna see why once we get to that part of the game. But anyway, we are going to drop the Master Sword into its place. Yes. 
And we are back to being a scrawny little kid. Anyway, we are out of here. And where are we going? Well, obviously we are going to Kakariko Village. Now, unfortunately, we will have to walk there because we no longer have access to Epona as a horse because she's still at the ranch. And what else do we, can we not use? We can't use the bow, so we have to go back to the slingshot. We have no bomba chews, and that is really it. So anyway. There is a dog here, apparently. There are two dogs here. Right, 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 right. I forgot it is night, the doors will not be open. And those guards are staring at us, so... We need to wait for Dawn to come, which shouldn't be too much, should be just a few seconds. There we go! That was relatively quick. There we go. So now we are finally head out of the town and commence our trek over to Kakariko Village. And we've been completely maxed out on rupees for a long time. Because honestly we haven't had to buy pretty much anything. Good news is Kakariko isn't that far. Okay, so here we are, so we must now head into the windmill because the well is completely filled with water and windmills... I don't... I'm not, they don't really have anything to do with water, so why this happens, nobody knows. But I do recall this is how it happens. So yeah, it still has water in it. Now, if you wonder how you do anything, if you go into the windmill as an adult, the guy here that teaches you the Song of Storms tells you that a long time ago, a kid came in and played the song, and that's how he learned it. So, we come in here, we remember how to play the Song of Storms, first of all. Uh, sorry, song... Oh, here we go. A down up, okay. And now if we talk to him... Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going way too fast. So yeah. Whoa. Okay, I mean, we finally got that out of the way. And that is how... We empty the well and... Gain access to this spooky place. Next episode, so thank you for watching, and we will see you next time when we head into the spooky sub temple and get the I believe it's called uh, what was it called? Uh, sh uh, Shadow Glass? I don't remember, but anyway, we will see you next time for more Legendary Ocarina of Time later.